Hey guys, Average Joe here, and I'm back with what I hope to be my final video about product inconsistencies. Uh, I hope you find this helpful, but uh, I think it's an important subject, particularly for any of you that might be thinking of designing a product that is supposed to work with other people's products. You know, you're going to have to deal with the inconsistencies in that other product especially if they didn't pay attention to, for example, tolerances, quality control, consistency across the, the uh, production, across manufacturers. So it's, it's something that you need to keep in mind if you're going to go out there and develop your own product. Any of you who have already developed a product, you've probably seen this yourselves already and you've dealt with it. But um, so let's get right to it. What I've got here is a 552 Series 1 portion of a disc pack. This is disc 3 and 4. And I've got another one here, disc 3 and 4. And, you know, they basically look like the same discs from a, a 552 Series 1, but they're not. I'm going to pop off disc 4 and take a look at disc 3. And what is immediately noticeable here is the height of the lips. You can see the disc on the right side has a noticeably taller lip than the disc on the left. And the disc on the right side has a noticeably taller height than the disc on the left. And let's see by how much. So we're going to take a vernier caliper Fire it up. I've got it in millimeters. And let's take a look first at the lip. So the lip on this is about, about 9 millimeters. Almost 9 millimeters for this lip. I'm going to I'm not even I'm not going to touch yet this and you can already see I've got to shrink it down to seven and a half millimeters approximately so there is a 1.5 millimeter difference in height same disc 1.5 millimeter difference in height of the lip now let's take a look at the height of the entire disc. So we're going to make sure this is zeroed, still on millimeters. Approximately 22 millimeters. Take the other disc and nearly 24 millimeters, almost 24 millimeters. This disc is nearly two millimeters taller than this disc, two. That means that when you put this into a stack of discs, the alignment of these two is going to be slightly different. And the space between this lip and its neighbor, so let's plug this in here, the space from here to here is going to be different than the space from here to here. And that is because when they're manufacturing these, who knows that maybe this is a different manufacturer than this one. Uh, maybe it's manufactured, uh, you know, this was a particular year, this was another year, they made these changes and now they found their way into the product. So you've got some dumbbells out there with this and some dumbbells out there with this one. And that's just disc um, three. That can happen with all of the discs. Now, let's take a look at the plates. Now you've seen this me do this, but not with a, a vernier, uh, but you've seen me kind of look at the plates and talk about the difference in size. Let's actually see what that means 
in reality. So the first thing I'm going to do is put these side by side. This is actually thicker. You might be able to tell that with your eye, but we'll measure it in a moment. This one's thicker. Likewise, you can kind of see this one is thicker than this one. So let's see what that means again with a caliper. We're going to start on the bottom of this one. We've got approximately 14.1. Slightly under 13. This is about 1.3 millimeters thinner here than here. Now let's flip it over. You've got, oh, we'll zero it out again just to make sure, okay. We'll grab this measurement. 13 point, uh, basically 14. and basically 13. One millimeter thinner here than on this disc. Let's take a look at one last measurement here. We'll go down the face, make sure it's zeroed out again. We'll go down the face here and take a look at this. 14.1. One sec here. I slipped. 14. Oh, one sec. Mm, 15. So about 0.9 millimeters thicker here than here. And what that means for you is when you're trying to develop a product that's going to fit these, you have a couple choices. You can either do you know, sort of like they did with theirs, which is just make so much play that you can try to fit everybody. Or you can design a better product. And you can try to make it fit in a better way, perform in a better way, but you're going to have to give up something. You cannot accommodate this and this, as well as this and this, and have an optimal solution. What you're going to end up doing is a compromised product. You're going to be trying to accommodate way too much in terms of the variation from one product to the next. Wow, <laughs> that visual difference is pretty wild. But anyway, um, uh, so as you're out there exploring, maybe doing your own uh, products, Keep this kind of thing in mind. Uh, this has been probably the toughest thing I have had to deal with when it comes to product development for these discs because you have to make tough choices. And, um, uh, you know, you, even after measuring these two, I'm sure that there is going to be some plate out there thinner or thicker than these two. And that there's going to be some crazy disc out there that's thinner or thicker than the two that I showed you. So uh, keep that in mind. And uh, product inconsistencies, it's just kind of a, it, these days it seems like it's part of the, the, the challenge. Just understand that it's it exists. You're going to have to deal with it and you're going to have to make some ch tough choices during your uh, product development to decide how far you wanna to try to take that and what is an acceptable number of um, uh, you know the 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 compatibility and in my case I'm you know I've been pretty happy with the 95 percent compatibility on these and the you know 98 percent compatibility on the uh, 
1090s and 552 series too. But you know, you'll have to decide for yourself uh, when you're developing your own products. So hopefully you found that uh, helpful. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to talk about inconsistencies <laughs> anymore. Uh, hopefully I could do some uh, cooler videos with some new products like the uh, handles and uh, dials and such uh, in the weeks and months ahead. So thank you for watching. Hope you found this helpful. If you like my videos, please subscribe and I will see you in the next video.